me some kind of a pace, it will never get alive. Mm -hmm. Now you realize that the first step is wrong. The matter doesn't exist. It is smeared out, is it the, the haps mm -hmm. exist, something of that type, mm -hmm. right? And you have to build it. So you have, uh, the haps is not only that it is, so to say, it is, it is not at a certain time, so it is sort of same, you know, it is extending in the time, you know, and the smear is only in that. The time plays a completely different role. That is also, <coughs> the time means that at each moment, this reality, I have to say reality because I have not the other word, reality is created anew with the memory of that in behind, but not in a unique way. Mm -hmm. So the creative aspect comes in. Mm -hmm. We believe the human beings are creative. We are right. But not only we are creative, everything is creative. All of nature is creative. All. Even, even of the non-living is alive. Right. But if it is, in a way, in disorder, it is smeared out, right. and then I get the classical physics. Right. The classical physics is not wrong. You know, it is infinitely open mm -hmm. with regard to the future. Mm -hmm. So, it has that is a point. Uh, that is a point which we, if we if we meditate, mm -hmm. we want to get the point of emptiness. Right. Be, because all the forces which are important for us disappear. They are not really disappearing, but they're cancelled out. At that moment, mm -hmm. you start to see the other field behind, mm -hmm. which is completely different. And transcendent. And transcendent. And yeah. superposition of possibilities. Yeah. And that is in an infinite dimensional space. That's the reason why we cannot do anything with space and time. Mm -hmm. So it's an infinite. So there is no arbitrariness in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But the logic is infinitely different. It's not only yes and no. So when we speak of consciousness, or when you speak of consciousness, you're not really speaking of the individual observer, right? No. You're talking about a consciousness that splits into the observer and the observed, interdependently. Yeah, I, I would not even use consciousness, because consciousness reminds me of, of knowledge, you know. It, it disappears in knowledge. It is something, yeah, which is completely open. I mean, uh, in our language, we have great trouble. I mean, the Chinese, they have symbols for connection. They have an easier time. We can use our in transit intransitive uh, verbs, you know, that we can talk about um, living, uh, living, loving, mm. hoping, and so on, right? In the moment you say love and that, it, it is all wrong, mm. because it is only that what is open. It's a principle. It's a principle, and in the moment you use a language, you kill it. Mm. Is uh, it an archetype then? It's an archetype. It's an archetype. It's an archetype, but not as... Uh, as Jung is using where he again starts counting, you yeah. know. If it's an archetype, it turns out because there's only uniqueness. Mm -hmm. There's nothing separate. Mm -hmm. Everything is connected. Even we are connected mm -hmm. with each other, right? So the point is that you come, that we would talk to each other. We use the language in order to remind each other what we are or actually already know because we are connected, but the more silence we get, mm -hmm. the bigger the ich, the, the self mm -hmm. gets. I, I make the difference between the self and the I and the ego. Mm -hmm. The ego uh, and the self is, is something which grows to the point of, of sensibility. It depends how much you can, in a way, mm -hmm. get rid of the noise around, which is of uh, an average type of thing. But you have a hard time how to talk about it, because in the moment you talk about it, you destroy the uniqueness, right? So we saw, we also say you get into kind of a philosophy where the creator and the creation are identical. Mm -hmm. The creation itself is, is so to say, the creator. Mm -hmm. So there's not a big bang like in the classical thing, but it's banging. Right now. Everybody, mm -hmm. and not only we who believe we are creative, it bangs all the time. And this banging, in a way, creates the next level mm -hmm. of, the, of, of the universe, of the cosmos, mm -hmm. right? But in the moment we talk about it, so for me, consciousness 
is not a dark consciousness, but it is something much huger, much huger than that in which our language goes in the three-dimensional space and so on. Mm -hmm. right? And I can also, in a way, explain why then in our language space and time comes about. Mm -hmm. This has nothing to do with the software. You know, the software is in a way uh, a good example because this only substance in the so software is yes and no. Mm -hmm. That you, all the pictures you have, the music you write, the text you have, is only a sequence of yes and no's. So it is all hidden in the, in the form structure, in the arrangement and not in the Between the, the yes and no's. Yeah, I need a big chain in order to have a thing, Merci Passion and so on, in order to get it in this way, right? You know, you remind me of a poem by Robert Frost, yes. where he says, we dance around the ring and suppose yes. the secret sits in the middle and knows. Yes, so yes. It's, it's in the gap. Literally. Yeah, it is, it is something incomprehensible for us. And if you say, I cannot give an answer, you don't have to assume that you have to do more science to learn it. Mm -hmm. We understand, but we do not understand, right? Mm -hmm. But we do have a mathematical formalism, mm -hmm. which in, in a way is for me an, an imitation of Advaita. Mm -hmm. Advaita would be actually correct, because Advaita would be also, in Advaita you don't have a god, you know. Mm -hmm. In the moment you ask where is the god, you already in duality, you destroy exactly mm -hmm. what you have, you know. But if we want to act in this world, we have to break it into pieces. Mm -hmm. And we can do it approximately. Mm -hmm. It's not good as a guiding thing, mm -hmm. but of changing it. It's, it is more like an infection on an organism, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it is not the infection which makes the new human being, but it gives it the disturbance of that which has to get a new equilibrium. Mm -hmm. And if that is established, we have developed one step higher. Mm -hmm. Then only you can understand that in three and a half billion years, mm -hmm. we could get out of a soup, mm -hmm. we can get something so complicated, <laughs> you know, with a human being. I mean, it's much more unlikely. I mean, it's so zero unlikely that <coughs> you cannot fill the universe with zeros in order to express that, right? Mm -hmm. So it is a different kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. So from my point of view, all the people who use esoteric language, they are right in that they say there is something. Mm -hmm. But in the moment they try to put it in the same prison so as yeah. science is there, yeah. they destroy it. How about mathematics then? Mathematics can do it, <coughs> but when I, yeah, when I talk uh, with, uh, with a Zen Buddhist, we have good friends in Zen Buddhist, they say we arrive at actually at the same thing. With my mathematics, <coughs> I cannot think it, but I can make it infinitely big. And I have not to explain it, because I say I can take it finite. Now let the number of dimension increase. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now how much? Infinite. Then it gets out of sight. Already four-dimensional, I cannot do it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it looks like, I mean, he talks, <coughs> but the difference is I start being outside mm -hmm. and constructed, so I make a mistake right away. Already? Yeah, already. He says, no, you should start with yourself, always in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then I say, well, I cannot go very far because there is no, there is nobody talking about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said, because I want to talk to. Then I have to stay outside. Yes, then you make a mistake because the most important thing you're missing. Who is the observer? It is, um, it is a kind of a, uh, let's say, it's a construction in which I, in a way, can do as if what is all connected is made out of pieces which are separate. And so the only thing I can think about is take a metal plate and put some sand on it and get it into vibration. Then the sand will be separated. And then you can ask, what do you mean by the separate sand? Okay. And then I say, it's still sand. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but <coughs> the separation is what makes a distinction that this has nothing to do with that because 
the distance in between was created. So you have a language. There is something with a superposition of, 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 uh, of ways, which in self you cannot trust, right? You can get as if they separate or they uh, get together, right? You know, there's a, uh, by the Sufi poet Rumi, he says, you are not just a drop in the ocean, you are the ocean in the drop. Yes. Yes. Is that a little close to what you're saying? You could, you could say, I mean, there's actually only one drop, mm -hmm. and, and, and so you can say, but I mean, if you take the, the, uh, the example of an ocean, I could say what we consider ourselves, or an, an, an object, or something ourselves, it's more uh, like the foam on on, on the ways, mm -hmm. right? And if you look from the airplane, you say, yeah. aha, there is something, it is built from white something, you know, and you give them different names and so on, right? But it is not, if it goes down, again, it's a picture, and the foam is not in the same wave. So here the point comes in, whether the personality is, so to say, in a way left over what you have in Christianity. From my point of view, I'm just the phone. I will be there. Mm -hmm. I, I do not die. I, mm -hmm. You know, but what I have called myself was this particular was thing, and that, and, and I even by blowing perceptual artifact, perceptual, and I even make an additional form. Mm -hmm. So I even, if you count the foam <laughs> bubbles, there are more. Mm -hmm. So you you also uh, you, you left something behind. Mm -hmm. well, we, we did it, you know. Who is God? God, God doesn't exist in that sense. Uh, but I, I, I say the reason uh, why I say uh, I'm an atheist in the Sanskrit sense, where A is not a negation. It is, it is, the achrome of the circle. It's the the achrome of the circle. Mm -hmm. Color has no sense because people say, "Are you monotheist or the pantheist?" They say. If there's only one, an Advaita, you don't count. So, in the moment I say God, I make a mistake, and then I do it. Unless you say, hmm? unless you say, there is only God. Yeah, only. You can